Welcome to Adco Aviation. On the 15th video, I discussed our XL's modified seat and how it saves 40% weight coming in at only 10 ounces. Speaking of weight loss, on the last video, I showed how I made the retaining rings for the cable guides. However, I failed to discuss just how much drilling out those lightning holes could help. Basically, I drilled out 50% of the weight. My scales wouldn't even register the weight of one ring. Each ring, after being drilled out, was just under a quarter of an ounce. Speaking of those guides, I want to let you know how I installed the retaining rings. I took an old 564 inch Allen wrench and cut off two pieces with bolt cutters. I flattened the ends with a grinding wheel and used these to spread the rings apart that holds the plastic guides in the rings. That allowed me to more easily put them in place. Today I'd like to discuss the landing gear brackets. I drew out the best layouts with minimal waste. I drilled where the 5 8 lower lingeron would be and then cut them along the lines. On the four rear brackets I added a lower tab that will bring the pulleys lower for clearance sake. Then the front four were pretty much as per plans. I cut them, taped them all together with a short scrap piece of 5 8 tubing holding them exactly the same spot that they'd be on the fuselage before drilling the wing and landing gear quarter inch holes and the 3 16 pulley holes. This way should ensure all mounting spots are identical. I bent, trimmed, and tack the first bracket in place, making sure it was square to the frame. I then welded, especially the inside area, completely. Then using a piece of 7 8 inch tubing to maintain the 7 8 inch gap and a piece of quarter inch all thread to keep the front and rear brackets in line. I tacked on the other side of the rear bracket, then repeated it for the rest of the brackets. I basically did the same thing for the upper wing mounting brackets. I first made a cardboard template for those brackets. Do you see anything different from the plans yet? We'll discuss it more in an upcoming video why this mod was made. But go ahead and write your comments below once you see the difference and what you think it might be. Several have commented on my tack welds not being the prettiest and I'll just say I agree with you. For me, it drove me crazy. I guess I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, and when I build anything, I see all my faults. But when it came to building these top brackets, I figured out welding on a bench is wonderful and so much easier. Of course, I know we can't do that with a whole fuselage, but take advantage when you can. So I welded in the four bushings for the wing mounting drilled them out to a quarter inch and took them over to the frame. By the way, a little tip here. My wing spars are 29 inch on centers, but I made these mounting bushings extra long so that I could have a little wiggle room as I go to mount the wings on the fuselage. I can trim them down for a perfect fit. I made sure the fuselage was level, then leveled the top bracket to the frame used the all thread from earlier and I heavily tacked them in place. I then began starting at the tail completely welding the frame, tying all those ugly tacks together. Remember when welding don't forget to bounce around from cluster to cluster so that you won't warp through your fuselage. I went all the way down the fuselage several times till I found all the missing spots, corrected and moved on. After I finished a session of welding, I take a few minutes to examine the welds and clusters, marking any missed spots or areas that need attention with blue painter's tape. The blue tape stood out and helped me not miss anything on the next session. 
I know I didn't have a lot of tips or gotcha moments to watch out for in this video, but maybe I answered something without even realizing it by putting this video together. I am truly humbled by the following of these videos. We're at 720 YouTube subscribers at the time of this video. Remember, we hit 500 at Oshkosh this year, just a few months ago. I also received a Christmas card from one of you. I want to thank Joe from California for a very special card. He noted that he enjoys both my XL build and my Pappy's Ponderings videos. And yes, I plan to continue both sets of videos as well as the occasional Sandy Hill Stable Homestead videos. So a special call out to you, Joe. First off, yes, I agree with 100% of what you wrote. That has been my hope from the very beginning. And it's great to hear from a like-minded soul. But truly, thanks for your card and thank you for your encouragement. Speaking of, I keep getting all these spammers trying to, quote, help my channel grow. I just reply to most of them that I'm here to help builders and future builders get motivated to build their own dream. I'm not here to build a YouTube channel. With that being said, I guess it does help others find us and find out just how easy it is to build our very own flying machine, the Legal Eagle XL. So if you like these videos, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube, Odyssey, or Rumble channels. Thank you, and be safe.